guys welcome back to my channel it's another beautiful wig making tutorial for you guys this is a diy if you want to do it for yourself this is very simple so guys if you are new to my channel you are welcome for those that keep coming back thank you so much in case today is your first time my name is uk Ria. YouTube name Black and Shine. I'm a YouTuber based in Abuja, Nigeria. I make videos on hair, gele makeup, vlog, and many other interesting videos you can find in this channel. So if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click on that subscribe button so that we become friends and great family. So on today's tutorial, I'm going to be show you how i was able to achieve this beautiful wig using kinky from expression or you can call it spirit what do you need for this tutorial one pack of cereal which is kinky from expression your cap and your needle and thread so the first thing you do is to cut the kinky into two then use your needle and your thread to sew as you can see, where I'm sewing now is the back where I have black cap. So I'm going to like sew that back. Then when I get to the next, I'll do more explanation for you guys. guys before i start the explanation of how i achieved the front of this wig this wig cap you are seeing here is a tutorial i've dropped for you guys if you have not seen it i'm going to be dropping the video link on the description box below so please kindly check it out so guys all you need to do is still the same sewing we are going in in a smaller portion of the hair unlike the back just start at the front place your head the same way you 
you are sewing it at the back sew it you can see the way i'm crossing it now just sew at the center when i flip it over you are going to see what i'm doing here so guys what i'm doing here is just pick the quantity of hair that after you have sewed it when you drop it it's going to cover the net at the back it's going to cover the remaining net because we are not going to tag any hair at the center of this cap this one at the front now is what we are going to use to cover it so the hair you are picking should cover that particular portion where you are sewing when you drop it back that is how you will keep doing and as you sew you drag out the baby hair make sure the baby hair is dragged out and again remember to follow a line at the front of the neck guys after that i'm going to go ahead and pull the baby hair pull it from the beginning to the end as you can see here then arrange it very well the way i want it to be then use my needle and tray to tag it what i'm doing here is tagging not sewing do not sew just tag pass your needle and thread under the cap then tag Because, you know, when you sew it, the thread is going to be visible. So when you tag from the beginning to the end, you follow the step again and come back.
guys, after that, the remaining black net at the back, I'm going to go ahead and tag more hair to cover up that space at the back. What I'll do next is to lay the front down. Watch on the screen to understand better. I'm going to lay the front down. After tagging the front and adding hair to the back, I will lay it down arrange it the way I want it to be and use my needle and thread to sew it. I want you to watch this part so that you get what I'm doing. I'm taking this tutorial gradually so that you understand more better. guys the next thing i'll do now is to trim the hair if you want the back to be more fuller then you trim small if you want it to you know look moderate you can do it it depends on what you want so trim the back of the hair to your taste so guys after trimming i'm going to go ahead and use the remaining hair to form a bow you can form any bow of your choice then the next thing i did was to place the bow by the side of the hair so guys i'm going to allow you to enjoy the rest of this tutorial if you enjoyed this video do give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share this video with your family and friends drop your comments on the comment section below i'll always be there to reply to your comments see you on my next tutorial bye